Hey guys, myself Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn how do you create a test.py, let's say using a notepad or any kind of a text editor, and how can you run that file using Windows command prompt. Okay, there are multiple ways I'm going to teach in the upcoming videos. Let's see how can I run a test.py from the Windows command prompt. To do that, first thing we will open a notepad and we are going to quickly go with a simple command print and you can say hello world or you can type your name I am going to type my channel name automate with Rakesh and this is done and let's quickly save us and I am going to save it in a very specific folder which I have created that is my python codes and here I am going to give it a name test.py and hit on save. So let's have a look of that file. You can see the python symbol has come the moment I saved as .py. This will only come if you have python installed on your system. So first thing as I said our topic is how can you execute using the win windows command prompt. So let's open cmd. Now in the cmd let's type python space version if you type this it is going to let you know what is the python version if you have it in case you do not have you can watch the previous video which i have created on my channel just go to automate with rakesh and you will find how to install python 3.10.4 and the complete setup process i have explained you can use that video now for this video i want to access the file so remember your file is there in a different folder. So this is the directory where it exists. So let me copy the directory. The first thing I should do because this is windows command prompt and on the windows command prompt let me first get inside the directory just by typing cd space the path the folder path. So what happened now I am inside the directory. So once you are inside the directory all you have to do simply type python and the file name whatever the file name you have given so here test so i'm going to say test.py so that way it is going to run now you have a question how about me typing the name because the t is in uppercase how about if i type in lowercase what would happen if i type in lowercase that doesn't matter it will still run so you see automate with rakesh has been printed properly so here many people would do a mistake for example, when for the very first time when you uh, log in, right, um, this is what you find. So let me do a cd dot dot. Okay, so this is where you have logged in. Now, what many people will do, they will type py or python. So the moment you type python, what happens? This is calling the shell, the python shell. So once you enter into the python shell and then type, let's say python space uh, test.py if you type this is going to throw an error okay so let me exit and many people also will type py even by calling py or typing py it is going to call the python shell so what is the python shell if you type python on your windows search here you find something called python 3.10.4 right so this is the one this is known as the python shell this is the window given from python this is the python window and this is the windows microsoft window microsoft command prompt so by typing py you are actually getting inside the or you are calling the python shell to work along with command prompt okay you are calling in that so you can see there are three arrows this is the symbol so you should exit in case you would like to execute any file just in the command prompt all you have to do first thing i should go to the directory type in the directory and once you are inside the directory very simple just type python and the file name and it will be run now you have a question rakesh okay fine what if i would like to run this using the python shell so here on the top you can see it's saying python how to do that so for that please do watch my next video thank you guys take care bye bye